Aaron Bent here. Here to uh, bring you guys a video, installation video on PT Tracker version 2.0. Um, anyone who's interested, just check this out. Uh, they have a pretty nice layout right now. Um, and I'll probably do a review video, but for today, it is going to be an installation guide. Hope everyone is doing well in this um, better looking market today. All right, so over here on the GitHub, I cannot help you download uh, the zip file just because you need your user ID and license key to do so, and you'll also select which one you want. I'm doing Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is gonna be a specific installation for Raspberry Pi. So once you unzip the PT tracker and you go to the folder, um, which I already have here, we are going to open up the pttracker.json file. So you're going to open up the pttracker.json file and then you're going to modify um, the user ID, the license key, you can also put in a bot name, uh, you can also change a port if that's your preference, uh, things of that nature. Uh, you'll also be putting in the web URL of your, uh, wherever your um, profit trailer is running. If it's running on the local host, you can, you can keep this the same. Um, and then you'll also have to put in the password here for your profit trailer or whatever password you have for the profit trailer. So now that we've uh, <clears throat> established that, what we will do is now open your favorite FTP program. So here I have WinSCP. Um, I am in my, my um, PT Tracker folder. I download folder PT Tracker, and here are the contents. And what we are going to do is we're going to open a terminal window putty, log in to your VPS. So um, you can simply just go to your to wherever your um, your Raspberry Pi is, you can just basically go in there and open up a terminal. <clears throat> We're going to type in cd um, backslash home backslash pi desktop. Um, I have my files in the profit trailer folder. So um, make sure you're in the directory of your um, your profit trailer folder next to for example drag the PT tracker folder from your local machine to the VPS within the FTP program so I apologize for skipping that so what you'll do is you will basically copy all this into your profit trailer um, <clears throat> folder so this is if this is your if this is your Raspberry Pi you just double click on the profit trailer folder if it's on your desktop and then you'll just select all the files and drag it over here and as you can see I have the pttracker.json, uh, pttracker.key, uh, run pttracker.bat <clears throat> as you can see the files are in there um, and by the way don't worry about this file this is an old file from uh, before version 2.0 so if you don't see it it's not a big deal it's not required for the new version it's just something I just didn't get rid of um, navigate to the folder where you dropped your uh, PT tracker folder 6 make sh make the PT tracker file executable by running the command alright so here um, instead of going to here and in the command line and things of that nature you can still you can type in a ch mod um, what was it? it was plus it was plus X PT tracker And then you're given basically given it permissions. Uh, for me, the easier part for me for uh, what I like to do. I'm a GUI person, so I like to. See what just happened? Okay, I like to see uh, like what I'm doing basically, uh, and make sure that it's taking effect. So, we're running permissions on this PT tracker file here. It's a larger file. It's called PT Tracker. It's basically almost um, 100 megs. Gonna go to properties. 
right click go to properties you're gonna to go to permissions and then you're gonna check it says view content anyone change content uh, only owner and group that's what I have it set as you can change it to anyone I believe when you see this uh, for the first time it is going to say uh, change contact It's only going to say um, only owner or nobody or something like that and execute is going to say the same thing only owner or nobody um, so when you make these changes you just hit OK it's the same thing with running this command it's going to change it for you that's what that command is for um, this is just an alternative way of doing it uh, visually with a GUI instead of um, instead of trying to do it via command line so after that we're going to start by running um, period dot backslash pt tracker and get this program running so period backslash pt tracker and it's going to show my license key it's okay guys you need the key to download it anyway so, hopefully you guys can't corrupt my license key. So anyways, this is how it's going to look when it's, when it's running. Uh, once it's done running, you can verify that it's running by simply going to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, if you have it set up the same way as I do. I type in this and then it loads up. This is not going to just automatically load up. It's going to ask you for a pa your password to your profit trailer. So just type in your pa password for your profit trailer and then this is going to load load right up. <clears throat> I believe that is it for for this tutorial. If there's anything else that um, is needed, uh, just let me know. Give me a shout out in the comments below. Um, I actually want to start taking uh, some guided videos so if anyone has any videos that or anything that they're stuck on or anything that they need help on just leave it in the comments so I, um, it, you know the more that it's in the comments the more I'm going to make a video about it most likely depending on the subject or the topic uh, and if I'm capable of doing it but definitely leave uh, a comment uh, suggesting what you would need uh, the most help with all right I hope this was an informative video if you're interested in PT tracker any of the other add-ons even profit trailer there's gonna be a link in the description below there's also a link for ledger ledger nano s uh, to help protect your crypto assets and it's a cold storage as well um, also if you're interested in my my profit trailer feeder settings um, just visit my website and sign up and you'll get a link um, and you'll get an email with the link to my uh, download all right thank you for participating I appreciate all who support me um, if you saw my last video I was heavier in the facial hair than this I had to shave so hopefully everyone is doing good today um, I shaved because of this bull run you know what I mean so <laughs> Take care, guys. I thank you for supporting as always. It is appreciated. Take care.